Oh my god, time for a new video. Hubba 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 hubba. Happy Friday. So quite a few of you guys in my last video uh, sent me some wonderful dirty little messages saying, Nightmare, your audio is so low in this video. I don't really know why my audio is low. Then I figured it out. For some reason, my computer settings was set a little tad bit lower. So let's go ahead and test this theory out. If you're one of those people who said in my previous video a few days ago that my audio was extremely low, tell me now if you think my audio is fixed. Hang on, I'll give you guys a couple seconds. Raise up your volume all the way, all the way. Can you guys hear me? Hello, can you guys hear me? Can, can, can you guys hear me? Hello? Hello? Ah! Alrighty, hopefully I didn't make any of you guys out there shard your pants. I do not mean to <laughs> have you start your weekend with a shower. Oh yeah, Nightmare RH gave me the mud butt Friday. <laughs> Started my weekend with two showers. Huh, so nasty. Okay, anyways, audio is fixed. Onward to the video. No, I am not 99 smithing uh, just yet. Um, I'll let you guys know when the 99 smithing live stream gangbang is um, going to be. I'm actually really, really busy um, with, with other stuff right now um, in my personal life. Um, also other uh, work projects and also other video ideas. I, so I, I'm, I'm being pulled in like 20 different directions. Um, but yes, 99 Smith, there will be a 99 Smithing party. Have no worries. Otherwise, for this video, so it's going to be another content suggestion from you all. I, I actually have a channel on my Discord server. Um, if you want to join my Discord server, link is down below in the bung bar. There's a channel on there for content suggestions. And I kind of really thought about this a, a little over a week ago. I, I've, I've produced close to 5,000 videos, like I said in my previous video. And my analytics are nothing like it used to be. But I, I just, I really do feel kind of a responsibility and dedication to still be making videos. Even if a very small percent of people are still watching. Because the people that are still watching are kind of really the... Uh, I, I, I don't really want to say that you guys want to, you know, tickle my balls or anything like that, but you understand my point. You, you're here for the nostalgic effect, and also, you're probably here that, and you, you may have a lot of questions um, that maybe I can really answer. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to name this video, but I'll think of something, maybe like Nightmare RH's catchphrases exposed or something like that. I have said a lot of the same lines, obviously, throughout a lot of my videos over the years. And a lot of people have always asked me whether it's been on live stream, Twitch TV. Um, and I also started doing some streaming on Kick, uh, Kick.com too. And I do get asked fairly frequently. I'm like, uh, it's, hey, Nightmare, how did you come up with this? Nightmare, how did you come up with this idea? How did, how did you, you know, do this? Um, and a lot of big content creators out there never really get a chance to really answer those type of questions with, uh, their, their community. Um, and I think I'm at a good point where I can actually start doing stuff like this. So I'll be making these type of videos here and there, but there's one catchphrase that I did get asked about fairly recently. And, um, it just brings back a lot of memories. Oh my God. Um, so many memories. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's go and uh, bring you guys on a time machine, sexy ride to the past. Do 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 boom. So apparently, I use this catchphrase very often in a lot of my PKing videos, or rather, my old PVP world PKing. I I actually it's I. All I had to do was literally click on like two two of these videos and just turn the captions on and just scroll through to like a fight scene. And then I ended up saying my catchphrase and it kind of really just, I'm like, wow, yeah, I, I ended up saying this a lot. Um, so this is one of the very old videos, November 26, 2010. I ended up using a Christmas tree 
to uh, bash in a uh, desktop. <laughs> oh, if you guys haven't seen this video, I definitely really, it's, it's definitely a uh, worth a watch. But anyways, okay, listen up because I pretty much paused the video on uh, the catchphrase that we're going to be talking about and where this catchphrase came from and how I basically pretty much like linked it into my videos uh, for content. Here it is. Holy sweet Mary, mother of God, holy shit! Woo! Holy sweet Mary, mother of God, woo! -hoo! <laughs> All right, so let's talk about that one because that is actually a very interesting phrase and I'm pretty sure that brings back a lot of memories. Um, how did I come up with that? Where did I hear it? And why do I use it in my videos? I'll actually go ahead and answer why I use it in my videos first because the story is going to be relatively long. Okay, so why do I use it in my videos because, well, one, um, when I'm getting my bum bum uh, literally annihilated, and when I am not feeling very good about uh, teleporting away, um, typically when I'm in a very stressful environment, like I was just fighting someone that, that was probably going to speck me and kill me and try to steal my rock tail, <laughs> hey now, Back in 2010, these little rock tail, they were pretty damn expensive. Like, that entire inventory was probably 50k GP. 50k GP back then, it adds up over time. Alright, anyways, the reason why I use it in my videos is basically because um, it's just something very unique. You don't, you don't really see a lot of other people really say stuff like that. Um, now, I am a Christian. Um, I still am a Christian to this day, and I will always be a Christian. I am a sinner, I will admit that, um, hands down, I definitely am a sinner. I do repent though, and I try to, uh, fix, uh, mistakes in my life. <laughs> um, so yes, Mary Mother of God, I'm sorry, sorry for, you know, incorporating you in a RuneScape video, but, um, I think it, think it was very well noted. Okay, so where did the catchphrase come, um, come from in my life? Oh boy, this is gonna be, whoo! This is going to be uh, a story that hopefully a lot of you guys remember out there. So, I can't really remember 100% how old I was. Actually, no, no, no. I, I, I do. I was actually, um, I believe that I was 12. I was either 12 or 13. I was 13 years old when 9-11 happened. Um, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this was 2000, um, and it was definitely during the summer. It was not during the summer of 2001. Yeah, okay. So I was um, I was 12 years old. This happened during the summer of uh, 2000, and um, my mom and me we would end up going to um, a Roman Catholic church um, every um, every Saturday. Um, we, we would, we would end up going, um, we're not, not a fan of going to church on, on Sundays, Saturday, you would go to, uh, the, the church schedule is actually, um, in the late afternoon around like, uh, four, I believe mass started and you could actually get there a little early. Um, but then again, you didn't have to be up super early Sunday, which I, I, I love my mom for my mom loves to sleep in. So I, I, and I, I personally love to sleep in too. Um, yeah, yeah, screw waking up, like, balls early on a Sunday to go, like, to, to church and stuff. I'd rather do it late Saturday day. Anyways, I'm a 12-year-old. Of course, like, no 12-year-old wants to be in, um, basically, you know, it, pr pretty much it, any any type of religious, you know, um, uh, it's, um, uh, prayer or yeah, ceremony or, you know, whatever you want to call it, mass. And... The one way that my mom would basically motivate me to want to go to church is before we would end up going to church, we would stop at this one gas station, and this one gas station actually would have a slushy machine inside the gas station. And this was not really a slushy, this was kind of like an icy. So an icy is different than a slushy. A slushy is 
Ah, oh, God, I, I, I really got to pull up an image. Give me, give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the difference between an icy and the difference between a slushy. Hang on, I, I gotta show you. Okay, I found the beautiful, perfect image. Oh my God, that, that brings back so many memories. Okay, so this gas station would have a icy machine, and it would l legitimately just be like this. This is blue raspberry, one of my favorites. So. My favorite was the blue raspberry and the cherry, but I was very indecisive and my mom would not let me get both of them. So what I started to do was I started to combine. I, I, I would make a blue raspberry and a cherry icy. Oh my God, that was so good. Oh boy. I am 35 years old. I got to find one of these machines. Maybe I'll just go and buy me an icy machine now. <laughs> Should. I, how, how much is an icy machine on like Amazon? It can't be that much. Okay, so anyways, I I, I um I, I, I would combine one of these ICs and I would I would slurp them down ultra fast. My mom would keep saying to me, "You're gonna get a brain freeze or you're gonna get diarrhea, one or the other." Oh boy, my mom was right every single time. I either got a brain freeze, my brain felt frozen completely while I was in church. Or I would just end up getting terrible diarrhea later in the day. But we ended up getting to church this one day, Saturday. I had just downed a blue raspberry cherry icy. And it was like five minutes into the ceremony. And um, I just felt this this knot in my stomach. And it's it, and, and when, when any of you guys, and I'm pretty sure everyone can relate, you know this signal from God... That you are gonna, you know, out of your body, like it is, it is just gonna be a, it's gonna be like a waterfall out of your bum into the toilet. Like you just, you know, you can feel it, you know it, and you're like, oh God, here it comes. So it's like five minutes in, um, and I told my mom, I'm like, hey, I, 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 I gotta go back. So I end up, you know, sneaking off, um, going into the bathroom in the church, and I just sit down, and I felt like Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber. It was the worst feeling on the planet. I, I had tears in my eyes. It was, like, the worst diarrhea experience on the planet. So bad that I remember it to this day. I probably have PTSD from it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really do remember this to this day. It's, it's literally engraved in my brain. So anyways, I get done totally just like everything comes out of me. And I literally tap the the um, the flusher on the toilet. Nothing happens. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And I'm 12 years old and I'm just like shaking. I, I probably probably had an anxiety attack. I'm shaking and I'm like... This is not good. This is not good at all. Because I still need to wipe my bum bum on top of this. And this toilet is not flushing. So there was a plunger there too. I tried using the plunger, which was absolutely disgusting. The toilet just did not flush at all. Um, I, 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 I'm not a plumber. Um, so I, I'm not really sure what the hell was wrong in the toilet. But it just, it was not working. So anyways, um... I get done cleaning up and I'm just like frozen for like a couple minutes and I'm just thinking to myself like what do I do? I mean I mean like do I just go back, you know, to my mom? Do I just tell anyone? Wait a second, I'm 12 years old. I just need to get the hell out of this situation. So, I pop the door open, make a run down the aisle um back into the the church area. And uh, as I open another set of doors to make my way back to where my mom is sitting, um, one of the old um, ushers is basically leaving the area. And th th this guy had to, definitely was a senior citizen, may maybe 60, maybe 70 years old. And I, I looked at this guy walking in the opposite direction, and I I'm like, oh, please, don't let him go in the bathroom. Please, God. Just don't let this guy go in the bathroom, please. Whatever you do, do not let this guy go into the bathroom at all. And this guy turns, and he just makes a beeline straight for the bathroom. He opens the bathroom door, 
And all I hear from this guy is, Holy Mary, Mother of God, give me strength. Oh! And I just run to where my mom is sitting and I just put my head down into one of those little, like, read-along uh, mass scripts and stuff. And I'm like, okay, we're going to be out of here in 30 minutes. <laughs> we need to be out of here, like, super fast. So anyways, apparently this, um, this guy that went into the bathroom to discover the toilet um, apocalypse that I just left in there... Apparently, he's one of the ushers that goes around and collects the uh, donations at the end of Mass. And um, my mom would always hand me, um, it's a envelope uh, with um, a couple dollars to give in, in the donations. And I see this same guy coming. And I wasn't 100% sure if this guy knew what I had just done to that bathroom. Although, he didn't see me leave the bathroom, but I was the only one that ended up making it down the same hallway as him in the opposite direction. So, I'm pretty sure he kind of kind of figured that this little 12-year-old probably just blew up the damn Lord's bathroom. Oh, God, please forgive me. So, anyways, this guy is collecting the donations, and my heart starts beating out of my chest, and I'm like, okay... Hopefully, he doesn't recognize me. Maybe he doesn't. And then, he gets to me. And this guy's face literally turns from a smiling, joyful look to like, I want to beat the ever-living crap out of you. Because you just clogged the Lord's toilets. Um, I actually... Hang on one second. I, I gotta see if there's actually somewhat of a pick. Okay, so Mr. Wilson from Dennis the Menace was not the guy in church. However, this is a good, a very good, good example. So this guy basically pretty much had a smile on his face, coll collecting donations, and then as soon as he saw me, his smile went from happy to... Eh, eh, eh. I am so disappointed in you, little boy. You just clogged the Lord's toilets. What did you just do? <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even realize I've been talking for like the last like 12, 15 minutes. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer type videos. Uh, let me know in a nasty, dirty little comment. Okay, so for the second Nightmare RH catchphrase exposed. Because Holy Mary, Mother of God, hopefully you all now know where it... it came from, originated from, uh, it came from me having diarrhea during, uh, church and blowing up, uh, uh, the Lord's, uh, toilet. <laughs> okay, Nightmare Age is nasty, dirty little common secret. So, I ended up making this video July 11, to the, um, to 2011, oh, so many 11s. Um, it did get a lot of views, but I still get asked to this day, Nightmare, where did you come up with Libra Nasty Little Comments um, at the end of all my videos? So, around, I want to say, 2009, when my PKing videos were becoming extremely popular. I believe that my first PKing video that went viral was early 2009. Um, I, I had roughly around, uh, 30, 40,000 subscribers at the time. And this one video got like a hundred thousand views in about a day. I believe it was like P PVP world PK number 19, if I'm not mistaken, not the chainsaw one, number 19. But as I was making a lot of my PK videos, um, I was really getting a lot of terrible comments by people that just really did not understand marketing 101. They didn't understand entertainment. They don't understand that YouTube is basically an internet show. Um, now, there was nothing in my videos that were ever, um, like, like there, was, there was no PKing fights that were ever staged. Um, however, me destroying shit, obviously I'm pre-planning about how to destroy something. I mean, that's... That is, you know, pre-planned itself. But as for the fight of PKing, it pretty much just like it was happening. But I had this one guy early 2009 
when I first, I, I think it was after like my second P, uh, PvP World PKing video. So this was this was definitely before my my videos were going viral. And this one guy legitimately wrote me kind of like a, a five paragraph essay as for a YouTube comment, and I'm just like, what the hell is this? And this guy legit, this this guy was probably had to have been like maybe a Harvard grad or or maybe it's probably like an English major. When I tell you that it was legitimately a five paragraph essay type of a comment, I, I, I'm not making this stuff up. It was it was like a, 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 a essay on why I suck, how I should stop making these videos, how I'm not ever gonna amount to any success on YouTube and also in my fucking personal life. Like 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 what that's and at the end this this guy said um this is my nasty Durlo comment. So I just ran with it and I, I pretty much said at the end of all my videos because before I ended up seeing this comment um this person I I, I I so before I ended up seeing his comment, leave your name, or this is my nasty little comment. I would always say at the end of my videos, I'm like, hey, you know, leave your comments, tell me how I did, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But ever since I saw that, I, 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 I had to troll the hell out of this guy and anyone else, and I basically just said, hey, leave your nasty little comments, um, and people ran with it, and it just, you know, took off at, um, uh, like a, a wildfire. So yeah. Now your people know where Levy Nasty Durlo comments came from. If you didn't already, this is a good video too. Um, but like I said, a lot of people to this day still ask me. They're like, hey, where did you come up with this? I did not mean for this video to be as long as it is. Hopefully you guys didn't get too bored. Um, but if you found this video interesting, and if you want me to make more um, videos kind of really exposing catchphrases showing you guys what I did or how I would make, you know, videos or even just any any other secrets or questions that you have. Hop on my Discord, post it in the content suggestion, shoot me a tw uh, a, a, a message on X, uh, aka Twitter, uh, Facebook fan page, um, or come into my clan, Clan Nightmare RH on Old School RuneScape. Drop me a line, also my friends chat as well. Just, there, there's multiple different ways to contact me. If you really want me to make a video on something that you want, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Uh, no problem whatsoever. But otherwise, I love you all for still sticking around. And uh, leave your nasty, dirty little comments. And make sure to uh, thumbs up this video. <laughs> otherwise, I'll see you guys soon with a uh, new, uh, new RuneScape video. Bye. Bye.